Bucky's earlier. We were trying to get some gas, and it was a, a, a wait in line because the tankers were dropping off. So apparently, I thought Bucky was running around on the gas, but they did. So, well, we're all filled up. So, you know, this guy's waiting. Yeah, there's Norma. There's Casey getting all the details. I don't know if you can see that. That's all the military tanks at the Ford Arena. Well, not tanks, but. There's stuff out there. APC. Is it APC? Yeah, it's APC. Why well, they need a fucking armor person? <laughs> What's up, guys? Alright, so we're at this place called the Ford Arena Pavilion. I heard Beaumont. It's got a hell of a stage. We're at the back area right now. Um, whether all the pets, animal, goats. Why do you say no goats? It was horses and dogs so far, right? There's goats in there too. There was goats in there? Yeah, there were goats in there too. So, it took us 10 hours to get here. Everything was blocked off. Um, it was a, it was hell, it was hell to get here. We found a guy who worked at Jason Dela in Beaumont, and he was trying to get back and follow his ass and find me back in here and slapping them at Walmart parking lot for two hours. And then came here now. <laughs> So it's been a hell, hell of a day and trying to figure out that where to unload all this dog food and stuff. Not this dog, dog food in the back. And we got another two other vehicles too full of stuff. Let me uh, flip the cameras. All right, this is the uh, back of this Ford Arena. So I guess they put pets back here. I don't know, this is just an interesting place. So um, it's got a, all kinds of people right now lining up. We're not too sure what this line is is dropping a food, picking up dogs or what? So we're gonna find out. But uh, there's a there's a large, definitely a large uh, military presence here. So Chris, if you out here, man, hit me up. I'm out here at Beaumont. So, so right now we're gonna drop off. Norma, it's a horse. All right, let's see what's going on. It's not really a, a very well organized. It's not. There's no signs to tell you. Yeah. There's that guy that was. I uh, guess she's some kind of vet. Camped out next to us. Mm -hmm. A public dog food. Okay. I don't understand then what that means. I don't either. I don't know. It's like your guys. Let's show you. Anybody knows where to go. <laughs> Actually, I've got three trucks full of supplies. Oh, you're dropping? Yes. Perfect. Lies. Okay, do we want him to drop lie in here? As well. yeah. It's a lot. Like, to the roof back here. Okay. There's three of these trucks. Uh, well, I mean, our line is clear back. Oh, my yeah. God, our line's clear up there. So, yeah, we could take it here. Uh-huh. Would, would that be fine? You want to just pull up, like, on this side can you here? Say, can you guys veer to this side? And then we yeah. can unload you right we'll there. Or load and or you and... Uh, they're further back somehow. Okay. It's another red truck and a white Tundra. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You want to just tell them to come up here and skip everybody, or? Oh. No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get yelled at by the power to be just yet. Okay. I don't want to get fired from volunteering. From volunteering. <laughs> okay. You heard that, lady. All right. All right. New plan. We're, we're gonna go around the uh, the building. We actually went around the building once already. Now we're gonna look again. <laughs> just start dropping the damn food off. So. Uh, no organization. It's kind of confusion. But that's what happens when you get a bunch of volunteers. It's kind of like, uh uh, I guess. Go so that way, sure. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. That's a big truck. I don't know what he's trying to do. Is he trying to get dog food too? <laughs> it's all the dog food. 
the donating. There's more over there. And this poor lady working her ass off. Got more stuff. All the water. <laughs> I want to give you an idea of how high the water so there's a fence line now high we actually drove through it a lot of it it was you know there was splashing water everywhere we're to a point we actually made a u-turn because the road behind us uh the water's coming up to the doors like four feet high so we don't want to do that so and these guys here they're part with the cajun navy guys so and trying to figure out how to get around. We're trying to get a bid door bad number. So Casey, go find out. Let's go find out what's going on. Maybe I'll go talk with those guys too. So we finally got the bid door Texas. It's kind of like, uh, I don't think they got power over here. They're cooking food for people and stuff and all the, the emergency response people and whoever needs food. So we're at the location. Where the hell are we at? So we got some free food. How's the food, Casey? It's free food. We drove 20 hours to get here for free food. <laughs> nah. But yeah, we're gonna have the food. We're gonna check in the command center and see what else they need us to be done. In Texas, Use monster truck at high water. Nice. That guy. Roam, roam, roam. That guy right there, he found these two dogs for us to take back. 
So, well, we're here with the rescue. So, oh shoot, no, you jumped over the oh, nice cold water. So, poor dogs. They had different collars. There were shitty colors on there. And we can see that. Fucking trash bag for a leash or whatever. And a chain or that stuff. So, but, uh, yeah, we get the gave him some food and water. She's tired. Yeah, poor dogs. We'll get you back to Dallas. Casey will fix you up. Yeah. So, we also found mm -hmm. it was her puppy. Okay. They found both of these dogs sitting in water to their neck. And she had grabbed the puppy and put it on top of the dog house. It was oh the only one to survive. Holy cow. Yeah. So, uh, he, they're keeping the puppy. That lady we talked to inside, Sam. Good. Sam Samantha? She's keeping yeah. it. Good. Yeah, they got a bottle feed it and shit. So. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Wow. I survived the whole time. Can you imagine oh. that, dude? Just sitting in water this whole time? Up to your neck? Send them over some of these pictures. How many puppies do you think they found? Well, when they got, well, I bet they were ground by then. Yeah, you know. Damn. That sucks. So on the black dog, she was so tired and couldn't drink water and eat food. So the army uh, helped us out and put an IV in her. So after a while, she was feeling better. So here's another picture. We had the truck going, AC going. So he, he found the hole and car on the back. Now they're both of the racks and cooling off. So they felt better when they got back to Dallas. So we got some more dogs over here. Apparently, it's some owners. I don't know if you can see the sun. So we got one, two, three. And there's four in the back that you can't see. So they actually, it's like this is somebody owned this, these dogs. But if not, we're taking them back with us. So we'll find out. This is the owner on the left who that's all his belongings. And I'm assuming that's the family or a brother, the guy next to the right. We asked him what he's going to do with his, his pets. And he had no clue what to do. He had about six animals at the time. One of them he's definitely he's going to keep. And the rest, he didn't know what to do with them. So we offered to take him back to Dallas. We can find new new homes, new owners, new loving people. We take care of them like, like he did too. And it's kind of sad right now how you see they're all in cages, cramped up, you know. And they usually they're pretty loose. They have, I guess he has some land out there, so... Me and Casey, we made sure they all fit and everything. And so when we got home, you know, we already worked out uh, to find new families for them. So hopefully they'll be happy and start anew. On this trip, we left at 6.30 Friday, drove all day, got to the destination to help out these dogs. It was very tiring, a lot of work, stressful, scared. But you know what? It was worth it. It's worth it to come down and help some of these animals. Even granted, this wasn't a whole lot we wanted to. We wanted to do more. But for what it is, we're very happy we did this. So, And we would do it again, too. Uh, Casey's already planned to go down there again. Drop some more food, food whatever he can, and help out. And he's going to continue to do this. To help out more animals like this. So, thanks, Casey. Thanks for bringing me along. To these dogs, you're their hero. They can't speak, but I'm glad they met you.